motherfuckers be speaking on my name And why my city raise so many haters Fingerprint me, bitch, I ain't saying a thing Yeah, that's the aftermath for fucking with my paper I don't know why I sit on niggas like I do I don't know why this shit look easy when it's major But I can see why bitches love me like they do I got that juice and nigga, I be dripping flavor Dripping on You from the city or the county? Shit I was born in St. Louis and I was moved out in O'Fallon So Before I even started school, I was out here in O'Fallon Starting at uh some Somewhere in uh, uh St. Peter's area Most Shit, up. so I don't even claim nothing. I don't claim no hood. I don't claim none of that shit at all. That shit ain't cool to me. Oh, yeah. Why you say it ain't cool? Niggas, a lot, like my homeboys say it like this. This is what we talk about a lot. You see all them sweaty ass niggas outside just bunched up, <laughs> just hot. Just, you know, like on the same shit. Like, my bad. Bro, I ain't mean to laugh. No, you good. That shit was funny though. It's, it's a I know you know that shit was funny though. And I'm not even just saying him. Just like when I talk to my homeboys that be on that shit. They really be on that shit. It's just like, bro, don't even do it, bro. Like, at first, I was a football nigga. Like, play football, play basketball. That's what you do. You're going to make it out doing that. Shit. And just shit changed where I wasn't. It wasn't what it was. I had to get to money. I had to get back to what I was doing. So, a lot of the shit that I chose, bro, it was just street nigga mentality. If we going to get into that, I think hood niggas and street niggas are completely two different things. Facts. So, hood niggas sit on the corner all day not making no money. Street niggas is getting to the bag whether it's I gotta do this move to make that exactly. or you gotta you gotta you gotta thoroughly calculate your idea being a street right. nigga. Or even being a hood nigga, you could just be you that's game bang. That's how that's how I separate that. Being a hood nigga, you game bang. Being a street nigga, you you selling, you hustling. Okay. Hustlers and game bangers. That's that's how you separate that. Well oh, Dev, and I like how you also uh, refer to just sweaty ass niggas being on the block. If you think about it, bro, look at G Herbo on them. Them niggas was sitting on the block with no money. So he had a different, he took a different route and he had to lead them niggas and that's why they was mad. But I, I respect, don't get me wrong, I respect her, but like some of the shit he did, if you listen to the interviews, it was like some, he had his pros and cons. What about Keith? What about Keith? I respect 100% what he did. He knew and, 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 and I'm gonna say it like this on Keith's situation, if y'all thoroughly look into the background, them niggas fucked him over. Type shit, like like them niggas went in his crib and was taking all his shit. Mm -hmm. And and Chief Keith, I, I respect me that he left and he just was like fuck all them niggas. Mm -hmm. But like if you, at the end of the day, the niggas that was with him 24-7, he took them niggas. If you think about it, G Herbo did the same thing, he took the niggas that was with him 24-7. God damn, if you think about it, Lil Dirt, Lil Dirt paying all these bonds and shit, but it's if you look into the stats right now with the uh five people that killed A V G Duck, he only got he only one person got a lawyer out of all of them niggas. So y'all might as well put all of them in the same category if you ask me.